hey guys welcome back to my channel and in this video i am going to show you how to make cake pops this is my second time making cake pops and this time it came out a little bit better than the first time however there was still some fails you guys will totally see them anyways if you guys want to learn how to make some cake pops just keep on watching and remember to please subscribe hit this bell to get notified every time i upload a video give this video a thumbs up and give me a comment <laughs> let's get started so first things first is we're going to make the cake box and you could get any cake pops from any store possible and it doesn't matter which kind of brand or which kind of flavor of cake. The one I had already in my pantry was classic yellow and that's what I'm just going to go with. So what you guys do is mix in a bowl one cup of water, one third cup of vegetable oil, three large eggs and just mix it together until it's all nicely blended. While you're doing all this, you just preheat the oven at 350 and then just keep on mixing it. There was little bit chunks of little, little batter, but I just like smushed them down with my fork and it doesn't matter if there's just a little tiny bit, little chunks, cause you know, it's cake, it's gonna bake, you know, it's gonna still taste good. So we're just going to take a pan and pour the batter in the pan and then we're just going to bake this bad boy for about 23 to 28 minutes. I actually put it for 26 minutes because it came out just fine and oh there you go there's the cake you know all nicely baked but guys I didn't put enough of the spray on so you'll see just in a few seconds that when I was trying to take it out it kind of uh, got stuck but you know there's cake pops is not an easy process there's always some trial and error this is my second time so don't sue me I'm gonna make it a third time you know learning from all my mistakes so definitely grease the pan a little bit more So as you can see, it fell apart. Well, cause it got stuck, but the rest fell apart. So right now I am just taking like the little top layer off. If this did come out completely whole, it would have been much easier to explain. But when it does come out completely um, whole, all you have to do is take like the sides off and then the top layer. So you don't have any of that, cur I, what do you call it? You probably would could just call it like crust inside the actual like mix of, um, bad dough <laughs> not dough but you guys know what i mean you see me here right now just taking a little tiny bit of this chocolate because when i make the cake balls into little rounds i'm going to stick chocolate on the stick and then stick it in the cake pop you guys will see here now guys this was a little bit of a fail because all i had was chocolate frosting which i mean it still turned out pretty well it just became like chocolate cake <laughs> instead of yellow but that's how it goes next time i am going to use yellow frosting not yellow i'm going to use vanilla frosting so it come out much better but i just had chocolate frosting and that is what i'm doing here and it still came out pretty tasty so all i used of the frosting was one tablespoon that's all you really need and all you have to do is just mush it all together ew the word mush it doesn't sound you know you gotta just like mush it all together i don't know another word but all you have to do is put it all together and then i took a half a tablespoon which i did it twice so technically one whole tablespoon i just couldn't find my tablespoon <laughs> so i used that and then i round it out so the next few minutes you're just gonna be seeing me round some bowls just keep on rounding the bowls <laughs> So that is all the cake pops I am making because these are just for me and right now what you are seeing me do is take the sticks, put in it 
in the chocolate just a little bit and sticking them right into the balls because I am going to put these bad boys in the fridge for a good 30 minutes so it could harden and that way the cake balls does not fall off the stick while you're dipping it in chocolate which I did that mistake the very first time I didn't keep it in the fridge for a few minutes and those cake pops kept falling off the stick <laughs> but you know like I said trial and error I'm still learning here and I'm still trying to you know be a pro at cake balls you know so I have these chocolate which guys are 10 times more better than those candy melts and all I did was put it on defrost guys defrost do not put it on high put it on defrost for 30 seconds and once that 30 seconds is up just keep on mixing it and if it's not fully melted which it wasn't put another 15 seconds on defrost until you get it on nice and smooth and then here is the time of dipping the cake pops in the chocolate which came out so much better than the first time uh and then i'm using up all the sprinkles that i had from the baby shower i'm just using up these sprinkles guys this this, these sprinkles lasted for quite some time in so many projects so this is like a one those sprinkles I got it from Michaels for like four something because I had a 40% off discount so definitely it was worth the money and that chocolate is from Publix you could also get it at Walmart um, and it was about four or five dollars so it's not really that bad honestly guys and then the cake pops and the frosting I already had in my pantry so my mom bought it some time ago and I decided to use it up and fun fact guys this is the very first time eating one and they're actually not that bad they're actually pretty tasty in this maze, the time sits all out of reach soldier So this is how they turned out. Thought I did pretty well for my second attempt. I'm going to do it a third time because, you know, I'm just learning, guys. <laughs> so that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember, please subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Oh